Hello everyone, today we have a short tutorial. We're gonna build a navigation link for our application and we're gonna store it in a separate file so that we can use it on two different places. Go with Sloba. Okay, so as I said, we wanna store these navigation links in a separate file as we wanna use it on two different places. We wanna use it on the dashboard on the left side and we wanna use it in the hamburger menu when we have the mobile view. So let's create this file. But before we add this file, I want to add one more package. So I forgot actually to install this package. So let's do it right now. So this is actually a React icons package. So let's run npm install lucid-react. And as I said, this is the package that's gonna help us to include the React icons in our project. Now when we have installed this package, we can close the terminal. And now let's open the explorer and add our utils folder. So in the root folder of our project, let's add a new folder and let's name it as utils. And in the utils folder, let's create a new file and let's name this file as links.tsx like that. And now inside of this file, I wanna add type definition of our links. You're gonna see in a second why this is useful. So let's add a type and let's name it as nav link. For all of you who are using TypeScript already, this is gonna be a little bit boring, but for you who are using TypeScript for the first time, you're gonna see how easy it is to set it up uh, yes, you'll need to write a little bit of more code, but at the same time, you're getting this additional functionality. So the first property that we want to have in our nav link is href, and this is going to be a type of string. The second thing, we want to add a label, and this is also going to be a type of string. The last property in our nav link is going to be icon, and this icon is going to be a component. So we're going to use react, react node type definition like this, and we're going to import icons in a second. So now when we have this, now let's create a new array of type nav link. So let's define const links, and this links is gonna be an array of nav link like this. And now let's just add a new array, and inside of this array, we wanna define an object. And as you can see right off the bat, you get these red lines. And if we hover over these red lines, we can see that type, and this is the object, is missing the following properties from nav link, which is href, label, and icon. So there you go. So we need to provide these properties and we get these properties in the autocomplete. So we can just press control space and we get access to href. And for the href, we can say for the first one as add dash job. Then for the label, we can add text, add job. And the last one is the icon. And for the icon, we need to import icon from the Lucid React. So let's do this on top like this. So let's import and I'm gonna use the layers icon from Lucid React like this. And now we need just to include this component in the icon here property. So layers like this, and it can be self-closing tag. Now we can copy paste this three times because we have three pages. So let's just copy this object to save the time. And now let's update the links. So for the second one, let's update the href. So instead of add job, we just wanna say job. And for the label also, let's just say job like this. And actually this needs to be plural. So let's add the S and for the icon, we can add app window icon and make sure that it's imported. So here auto import work for me. And the last one is the stats page. So let's update the href to stats. And for the label, we also want to update to stats. And for the icon, let's update this to be area chart. As you can see, we have this auto import feature. And now if we save this, we have added all the links that we need for our application. And we also added the type definition. And this is all for this tutorial. In the following tutorial, we're gonna start building the layout for our application. See you in the next one. And if you wanna support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing, feel free to check out patreon.com code with Sloba to get full access. See you there. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.